Okay, so Jack in the Box. Uh, I think that Jack in the Box actually has a couple of really good options. The one drawback is I really can only recommend one sandwich option where I would feel comfortable and, and feel in that I'm giving you an optimal recommendation that actually is healthy for you. So I can only really recommend one type of sandwich uh, versus the other two options being salads. But let's just jump straight into it. That first option of the sandwich is to go with a chicken fajita pita with whole grain. The reason for this is just the components within here are a lot healthier than a lot of the other sandwich and burger options at Jack in the Box. Um, it's gonna have grilled chicken, which is better than fried in that you're reducing your butter intake that comes with fried, as well as you're getting more nutrients out of your protein source because, excuse me, in the fried process, you're not losing a lot of those nutrients that, that we do end up uh, missing out on. The second component is the whole grain pita. Uh, make sure it is ordered with whole grain so that it has more nutrition in it as well as fiber, which is better for um, being able to digest it within your body. Um, there's also uh, studies that say that it helps to re uh, reduce the risk of heart disease as well as reducing constipation, again, due to the fiber, and then also assisting in helping you manage your weight because you're going to stay full for longer. Moving on, uh, the next component is the lettuce. Lettuce is really rich in antioxidants and it helps to improve heart health. Same thing with tomato, as well as helping to improve skin health. Um, and then you're gonna wanna ask for that fire roasted salsa on the side, so you're in control of how much is used. The reason for that being that the fire roasted salsa is typically really high in sodium. So just keep that in mind when you're deciding how much of it to include in your uh, sandwich. Moving on to option number two, this is where we get into the salads. We're gonna do our standard go to grilled chicken salad as that's being that's what's offered at Jack in the Box. Again, grilled chicken is much more ideal than fried chicken. It was mentioned before as to why. Uh, lettuce is, is rich in antioxidants and really good for heart health. Same thing with tomatoes, mentioned before with improving skin health as well. Uh, cucumbers are great for keeping you hydrated as well as helping the skin and being anti-inflammatory. Uh, carrots are great for regulating your blood cholesterol and improving eye health as well as lowering your blood pressure. Then the, th the request that we're gonna have to make this healthier is to uh, remove the shredded cheddar cheese. This is high in saturated fat and has a moderate amount of sodium. And really the protein that's in it doesn't make up for these drawbacks. So we're gonna, this, we, my recommendation would be to exclude it. Um, you, you're gonna wanna skip the croutons. You definitely don't wanna include these as these are empty calories. There's not much nutrition, if any at all, um, in those croutons. And then lastly, we're gonna wanna have our dressing on the side. So we're in control of how much is used if any at all, I typically recommend you don't put any because there's just a bunch of added sugar in there that's not very healthy and not very nutritious. And then moving on to our last option, option number three, which is a second option for a salad, uh, the Southwest chicken salad. Uh, this is roughly the same ingredients as the regular chicken garden salad. Um, again, I would just recommend that you remove those croutons and the shredded cheddar cheese because it's high in saturated fat and sodium, as well as having that dressing on the side Typically, I don't recommend using any of the dressing, but if you have to, you're in control of how much is used, and you're the one who gets to decide how much added sugar you want to put in your body.